The Kilauea volcano on Hawaii's Big Island erupted once again on September 2, 2025. Marking the 32nd episode since the current eruption cycle began in December 2024, Kilauea has once again shown its immense power. On Tuesday, lava fountains shot more than 330 feet, or about 100 meters, into the sky from its summit crater. A spectacular sight and a reminder of the raw force of nature. Scientists warn this might only be the beginning. Pressure continues to rise beneath the volcano, and all signs suggest that more eruptions could occur in the coming days. This was not the first eruption. Since December, Kilauea has erupted 32 times. Fortunately, all of the lava remains confined within the summit crater. Located inside Hawaii Volcanoes National Park. The latest activity began shortly after midnight, when lava emerged from the northern vent of Halamamo Crater. At around 6.35 a.m. local time, lava fountains lit up the skies over Hawaii. By midday, two additional vents opened, one on the southern side of the crater and another in the center, turning the eruption into a fiery display. Kilauea is one of the most active volcanoes in the world. It stands on the Big Island of Hawaii, the largest island in the Hawaiian chain. The volcano lies about 200 miles or 320 kilometers south of Honolulu, the state's capital on the island of Oahu. With its long and dramatic history of eruptions, Kilauea is not only a symbol of geological power, but also a vital part of Hawaiian culture and daily life. This latest eruption is just one episode in a series of eruptions that have unfolded in recent years. Let's look back at its activity. In September 2021, Kilauea began a major eruption inside Halamamo Crater. That eruption lasted more than a year, ending in December 2022. During that time, more than 100 million cubic meters of lava poured out, raising the crater floor by more than 140 meters. By 2023, activity slowed. There were no major eruptions, but scientists continued to detect magma movement beneath the surface and monitored the volcano closely. In 2024, the pace changed again. On June 3rd, a brief eruption occurred in the southwest rift zone. A few months later, in September, Kilauea erupted once more at Napa Crater, though only for a few days. But the most significant activity came on December 23, 2024, when a new eruption began inside Halamamo. That event marked the start of the eruption cycle still ongoing today. Throughout 2025, the summit eruption has continued episodically. By mid-year, more than 28 episodes had already been recorded. Some of them were spectacular, with lava fountains soaring up to 1,000 feet, or over 300 meters, into the sky. On May 23rd, one of the most dramatic episodes lasted about six hours, covering nearly half of the crater floor in molten lava and releasing dangerous volcanic gases into the air. Now, with the September 2nd eruption, Kilauea has entered its 32nd episode, proving once again that it is one of the most dynamic volcanoes on Earth. Kilauea is among the most active volcanoes in the world. It rises on Hawaii's Big Island, right next to Mauna Loa, the largest volcano on Earth. The name Kilauea in the Hawaiian language means to spew or to spread, referring to the way it frequently produces lava flows. Unlike explosive volcanoes that erupt violently, Kilauea is known for its effusive eruptions, where lava flows steadily across the landscape. Since the early 19th century, Kilauea has fascinated volcanologists. One of its most remarkable eruptions lasted from 1983 to 2018 at Pu, a span of 35 years. The continuous lava flows reshaped the island, created new land, and destroyed thousands of homes. For native Hawaiians, Kilauea holds deep cultural and spiritual significance. It is considered the home of Pele, the goddess of fire, making each eruption not just a scientific event, but also a sacred moment. Today, Kilauea is monitored closely by the Hawaiian Volcano Observatory. Using satellites, seismic instruments, and gas sensors, 
scientists work tirelessly to interpret its signals, helping to keep communities safe while also learning more about the inner workings of our planet. But how does this eruption compare to the last major event? Just a few months earlier, on May 23, 2025, Kilauea staged one of its most spectacular episodes of the year. That eruption lasted more than six hours, with lava fountains soaring over 1,000 feet, three times higher than the current event. Nearly half of the crater floor was covered in molten rock, and massive plumes of volcanic gas spread across the skies of Hawaii. By contrast, the September eruption, though dramatic, was shorter and more contained. Lava fountains were powerful, but they remained under control inside the crater. Scientists noted that this time, the activity spread across three separate vents, creating a more even but less explosive show compared to May's towering lava jets. Both eruptions, however, tell the same story. Kilauea is restless. Each event adds new layers of molten rock to the crater floor, reshaping the landscape and building pressure for what might come next. The difference lies in intensity. May's eruption showed us the true ferocity of Kilauea, while September's event reminds us that even a smaller eruption here is still among the most powerful natural displays on Earth. And with magma continuing to rise beneath the volcano, scientists warn that this cycle is not over. The question remains, will the next eruption rival May's epic display or exceed it?